Hello, and welcome to our next episode of Book Talks. My name is Beth Kaysen, and I'm Head of Adult Services, and I'm here to offer you some more picks from our new bookshelf. I hope you're enjoying this, because I'm enjoying doing it. I love telling people what to read, or giving the suggestions as to what to read, I should say. And so today, I'm offering a wide assortment of books. The first one is Divided Loyalty by Charles Todd. If you have not read any of the Charles Todd books, um, the Inspector Ian Rutledge books, you really should, especially if you're a fan of the British mystery, because it is English mystery at its best. And the lead character, Inspector Ian Rutledge, is a tortured man. And he's suffering from specters from World War I and battle fatigue and dealing with regular life after getting out of the military. In this particular book, this is number 22 of the Ian Rutledge series, he has to deal with an unsolved murder case and an unidentified victim. And the worst thing is, is the trail is cold. He has no idea what is actually going on and who's done it. So if you're interested in an English mystery, circa 1920s, I would suggest Divide Loyalty by Charles Todd. And if you are a series buff and want to start at the beginning, you need to start with number one, which is A Test of Wills. I think you'll quite enjoy it. The next book is, again, another English book. It is not a mystery. It is a historical fiction written by Marie Benedict entitled Lady Clementine. And yes, it is about Lady Clementine Churchill, probably one of the most influential but least known person of the World War I, World War II era. She is married to Sir Winston Churchill, and she is a very brilliant and ambitious woman who saves Churchill at some times and stands by him when he has to make those difficult decisions. Um, the, probably the only person that Sir Winston Churchill actually listened to in his whole life was Clemmy. So if you are interested in historical fiction, books that are actually drawn from history and based upon history, but the author puts a little spin on it, then I would suggest you pick up Lady Clementine by Marie Benedict. And if you are interested in more books like this, she also wrote a book called The Other Einstein, which happens to be about Albert Einstein's first wife. The next one is a bit more lighthearted than these two. It is Sisters by Choice by Susan Mallory. It is number four of the Blackberry Island series. And it is a heartfelt tale of love, family, and friendship. Three women, Sophie, Kristen, and Heather, are cousins by nature, but they are actually sisters by choice, and they're each going through a trial in their lives, so they all come back home to Blackberry Island to lick their wounds and support one another in their trials. Um, it is one that is a lighthearted, but still a, a very encouraging read to know that in the worst of times, you still have your family to, buy, to lean on. And if, you, again, you're one of those who likes to know the series and go uh, start at the beginning, the first one is Barefoot Season, and yes, the library does have it. The next one is a biography. That when I saw this in the pre-publication things, I thought it would be a good book because it's a, an encouraging tale of someone who had a rough life and chose to do good. It is Citizen Outlaw by Charles Barber. It is a biography of a gang leader in Connecticut who actually led a 40-man cocaine drug ring. And he got arrested, was put in prison for a long stint. However, his stay was shortened, but while he was there, he decided he wanted to make a better life for himself. He decided this is not the way he wanted to go. So he, once he got out of prison, he rebuilt his life, and now... Knowing what he knows about the streets, he leads a team of former felons in negotiating treaties um, between, or truces, between gang members on the streets. He's trying to help make his world just a little bit better, and which of us does not appreciate that? So this is an inspiring argument for love and compassion in the face of unsurmountable odds. And in this day and time, we need people who step up to the plate and try to make a difference. So that is Citizen Outlaw by Charles Barber. The last one is set in 1950s Kenya at the twilight of the British rule, empire rule. 
It is Leopard at the Door by Jennifer McVeigh. It's the story of a young girl who leaves Kenya when she's uh, about 12 years old at the death of her mother and goes to England and comes back six, six years later. And she finds that her country, her beloved Kenya, is on the brink or the cusp of unrest, that there's going to be an upheaval. And she finds that her loyalty is tested like never before. She's formed secret alliances with people who would, other people would consider to be a betrayal. And she has secrets that she cannot uncover, but will soon come to a head when the Mau Mau Rebellion happens. And if you're interested at this time period, this is post Happy Valley, which um, is a very interesting time period in Kenya. Uh, it, it's all, it's very similar to Out of Africa by Isaac Dennison and Circling the Sun by Patricia McLean, and also by about the, flame, the book Flame Trees of Thicca by Elspeth Huxley. So if you have a feel for Africa, especially in um, post, or not, I wouldn't say post, I would guess I would say pre-modern um, era, then I would pick up The Leopard at the Door by Jennifer McVeigh. I hope some of these have um, piqued your interest, and if you would like any of these books, we please do not hesitate to call, and we will pull these for you. Please call us at 256-237-8501, extension 2, or you can email your request at books at publiclibrary.cc. Till later. Bye. Chill. So if you are interested in <laughs> historical fiction, I have just been suborned by my <laughs> director. <laughs> she was over there doing like this. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. I had started off and I wasn't going to have any bloopers whatsoever. <sighs> okay, take number 77. How many times am I going to have to do this? <laughs>